Well, you know, it's a funny thing. Here. It's coming in a few different pieces, right? Big troughs. We've had a couple of little pieces come through, and then we get another one for tomorrow. But first, let's talk about this. Now, we've got, admittedly, I took some liberties in this map, okay? But here, let's take a look at what we've got. Now, we go back to la this past Sunday, you guys. Got about 10 inches of snow over the northern mountains. And this is going to tell us a little bit of the snowpack story over the next week or so. As we went through today, about five inches broadly at most of the resorts and could see some areas a little bit more, but for the most part, we did okay. Now, we got a shot a little bit more on Monday into Tuesday. We'll see if that ends up happening. And then we could be looking at a pretty good storm for Christmas. We'll throw a foot in there just for just for good measure. Now, hey, that's not that crazy. I got to say, yeah, uh -huh. I like the optimism. Of course you do. Okay. I'm on your team. These are some solid I want to be on your team, yeah. I know, that's exactly right. Nice job. I'm going to get into politics. <laughs> Projections like this, I'm looking good. Now, as far as what we could be looking at then, 31 inches of snow by the time you and your family head up to the mountains over Christmas and beyond. The overall point here is our snowpack's getting better, and a little bit at a time, we're starting to inch things up. As far as how things look right now, a couple showers out there across the southwest, and that's going to be something to watch closely because tomorrow is going to be a very active day for showers across the south. 36 degrees in the metro, winds out of the south, 6 miles an hour. Temperatures across the north, mainly in the 30s, out toward the east, mainly in the 40s, and then down to the south. 30s and 40s for the most part. Looking at what's going on here with satellite and radar, what we've got is another system that's headed our way throughout the day tomorrow. Now, initially, it looked like this thing would drop well to the south, maybe have a minor impact across southern New Mexico. Well, it's looking a little better as we work our way through. And the latest model runs, which I've just gotten done looking at, are actually pretty promising. So throughout the night tonight, the showers that we have going across the north will diminish. However, this system across the south is going to do a pretty good job across the southern third of the state to deliver showers. And I'll let you know how much rain we're expecting here in just a second. And as this thing kicks across, we'll get a break Friday into the early portion of the weekend. It does look like the beginning of next week will be relatively quiet, but we could well drive a bit of a cold front down here, which could help to touch off a little more snow in the northern mountains. Hence the additional prediction for a few more inches of snow. And then the big guy will be a possibility over the Christmas holiday, and that is possibly another much bigger storm if it takes a track down into New Mexico. Now, we got to watch what the track on this thing is going to do, and there's a lot of mystery involved in this right now. But let's just say Christmas Day and beyond, it could be interesting for at least the mountains and maybe areas in the valleys as well. So as far as the snow showers and rain showers go tonight, most of them die off across the north, and then you can see how widespread it is across southwestern, south central areas of the state by tomorrow afternoon. A quick shower in the metro, definitely not out of the question, but you can see most of the action tracking across the south here tomorrow evening and by Friday we get that break. So how much rain might we see down across southern New Mexico? A few inches of snow will be a definite possibility uh, across places like the Sacramento and the Gila. But if you look down here, we could see... Uh, you know, maybe a quarter inch or so of rain in some areas of southern New Mexico. So this is a much better story than we had to tell, say, yesterday at this time. And some good news for the southern portion of the state. We'll continue to track that and, of course, much more as we get closer to that Christmas storm. 30s across southern Colorado, mostly cloudy with a few snow showers of possibility. And again, given this system sliding across the south, we'll keep some clouds going across the northwest and across the southwest. This is going to be one of the areas we're going to keep a very close eye on throughout the day tomorrow. So you guys in Deming, Silver City, Lordsburg, areas like that, could do well for rain showers across the southeast. Partly cloudy skies early in the day, but then later on in the day, those showers track over across southeastern New Mexico. Up to the northeast, partly cloudy skies with an isolated mix of showers possible briefly out there, but most of the action will be off to the north. However, clouds with some sun breaks across the northern mountains will be the rule and maybe a few snow showers as well. Out to the east mountains, mostly cloudy here. A couple of showers possible too. Again, if that thing, say, leaks a little farther north, we could see a few more showers across the East Mountains and into the metro area. But for the most part, we're just going to see our fair share of clouds for tomorrow. Extended forecast, well, looks promising into the beginning of next week for at least a few more showers. And then, of course, a bigger storm beyond that. If you want to talk more on Twitter, we'll break it all down for you there at KRQE Mark. Mark, I'm going to hold you to a foot of snow <laughs> on Christmas. I'll be gone. I'll just, you'll get my out of office, but I love it. All right, thank you.